Hi guys, Dileen here, and I'm just working on some ATCs. Here's my start of it here. And um, this theme for this ATC that I'm working on is lace, purple, and beads. And I was. Oh, yeah. I had made a ton of um, extra cards of my space uh, or my galaxy because I was made a huge page when I when I did these with inks. Um, I believe I did that on video too so if you guys want to check it out. I made a big on black card stock the galaxy and I've been trying to use these up um, incorporating them into ATCs and I have been working on this so and now I started last night and I didn't videotape it I have stuff everywhere I have I'm working on my necklaces for the for this weekend and I have ATC spot over there filled I have Kira's spot filled with stuff so now I am actually working on my lap because I don't want to move things because I don't want to keep putting it away taking it out. So to do this tutorial, if it works out well, sorry for the jumping in your face, I am going to do it on my lap. So the only thing that's a little difficult, I'm going to have to move my lace over. See I have lace here because I was making well, I was using some of my lace for this particular um, one, but I also have to make my rosettes, flower uh, things for the sale. Here's one of the big ones. I'll show you one of the big ones that I made, and I want to redo my room. I need to build a desk or something that goes right around so I have more space. So here is one of the large ones. I made so I might have this one up because I don't have a package for it up to show there's the back you put it in your hair slip it in your hair so I have to re-glue that one a little bit there that is how that works. Anyway, I just want to show you that one. And this is paper in here, but I sealed it with pendant gel and it's punched and I used my little tool to round it up and as well as I put sparkles on it and made it all pretty full. So that's that. Anyway, so I have everything out, and this is crazy messy. If you guys seen this, you'd be like, how do I work in this? It's just crazy. So I'm going to put you down, and you're going to be seeing things upside down, so hopefully that's not too bad. Okay, so it's on my lap here. This is my little pillow computer thingy. <clears throat> and like I said, the um, project is... Um, lace beads and purple must be in it so I stamped a lace I got my feet on the chair where my camera is sitting so I'm hoping that's not gonna be terrible bad lace stamp and I got from Michaels I think it was in the dollar fifty bin and my whispering white from stamping up and I might have to move my feet. I will just try to be still and see how it works. If it's too shaky I guess I won't use it. Anyway, um, and like I said I want to use my Galaxy more so I'm kind of improvising. It's like uh, altering an ATC card to make it work for another project because you want to use them up and not have a bunch of stuff left. So I was thinking, here's my beads, 
here. So I'm not holding that very good. I'm going to move up my camera a bit. So I have them on some pop dots. And they're on here. I'm not sure if this is how it's going to go, but this is kind of what I had envisioned the incorporating the beads in. And perhaps <clears throat> putting the lace in the background like this. And then gluing them in like that. So I also found this um, quote that I like from Stampin' Up! And it says, the best things in life are not are made not bought so I use this out of the scrap papers like this that I punched out my um, doilies in tons of scrap paper and I'll just reach down here to show you the stamp set that I'm using right here and there's the quote So, and I have one down here too, I fell. So, I want to work that into it. I'm going to put my glue, my Mod Podge down here, because I think I'm going to Mod Podge some lace. And I just put my lace away too, and I didn't grab the one big piece I need. Darn, darn, darn. So... I'm thinking I'm going to Mod Podge this big piece of lace on there. Have my saying right around here. And have this on here. I might make this smaller because it looks like it's in the way. I have some different ones to test out as well. This one here is, is just like a strip. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in the corner. Put a couple pop dots in there. So I can even put the saying up on the lace. So, like that. I could do that. Something like that would be really, really cute. So, I've got to play with it. So this is just those pins that I use to, um, when you're sewing and you're keeping your folds or whatever, and these are the small, small ones, they're not like the stick pins that people usually make bead things out of, but I needed something small for my ATC card. And I wanted to be different, and I, so these are homemade beads as well, and, and these are the bought, the little plastic bought beads. And this is just the top of the stick pin that, um, or the, yeah, for the sewing pin. That is pre-made. I thought that was cute. Okay, so this kind of goes to show you, too, that you can make crafts anywhere. Um, on, like, I take this little thing to dance, and I was making flowers on it. Um, it's just... The computer thingy, you know, it's got handles, easy to carry. So you can art journal or scrapbook on it. I know it sounds a little crazy, right? I'm doing it on my lap like this in my craft room, but I don't want to put everything away when I'm going to go right to it after I'm done, right? So it's just too much to put everything away, and because I'm not done that project at all, so. Yeah. I'll grab a coffee filter here. I'm going to blot up my glue. I've been using coffee filters like I would use paper towels. I never buy paper towels ever. I was actually using rags. But then you just wash the rags, and I thought, well, and they get kind of hard and stuff. So I decided to start using paper towels or, um, coffee filters and then um, I can uh, use them after for oh 
thought you looked very beautiful. Okay. Um, darn. I can use them for recycling for other projects, and they look really cool. So at this point, I'm just gluing on the lace with the Mod Podge. It's kind of cool to have some uh, pre-made backgrounds and deciding that you're just going to use what you have instead of remaking some stuff specific for a project because uh, it makes you think a Okay, I was in the middle of conversation there when my husband called. <laughs> that's one thing that's not convenient about having the iPhone recording my my um, things. Anyway, so as I was, he was calling or talking, um, I glued on the quote. Uh, and I was saying that's good to use stuff that's kind of pre-made or whatever for some of your projects to kind of think about how you can alter them and use them. For one, it makes them very interesting um, projects. It's not like, I don't know, it just makes them a little different interesting in the sense is like normally if um, someone were to say lace, beads, and purple, would you think to even use a galaxy? You know, you wouldn't normally. You would be looking for shabby chic kind of motif uh, paper or making your own like stenciled spray that's what I would do you know my lacy look in the background or something you know um but I decided I'm determined to use some of these and how am I going to incorporate them so to make it look and you have to have some kind of wording with it that makes it look not oddball -y. so I'm just going, actually I'm going to dry that first pill, I don't, um, just in case I have to move my beads and they get stuck to it. So that's the thing, you know, it makes you a little, do things that's a little bit different. So you can see my big bag of scrap paper here that I'm going to be building more fun stuff with. Anyway, so I'm going to dry this and then stick the corner in. So... That is, oh, I'm just showing you again, that is what I got. Um, I think it's cute. I want to put a little bit of sheen on this. You know, the best things are in life are made, not bought. And I think that's great. And you know what? With the galaxy and everything on there, I think that's really cool. Because it makes it like, you know... The galaxy was made, and uh, and I think that's really cool. You think about it. We have the creation in the background and foreground here, I guess. Um, that was made, and that was one of the best things. Obviously, the best thing made. And then um, we have the lace and the beads and that kind of thing. And I think that gives a little bit of a moral sense of how what we make things so I think that's kind of cool it gives it a little bit of a symbolism like that the best things in life are made not bought it's really cool actually when you think about it in a deep sense so I like it a lot actually now and I'm glad that I'm making four that I plan to make four of everything um the first um one I made, I made seven, and I sent them all off, and I should have kept one. Felt really like, ah, missed. But uh, they really appreciated it, and from now on after that, I started keeping one. So now I'm just going to continue working on them. They're all going to be a tad different because of the um, papers are not going to be all corner papers. Because I want to use up my paper, but I don't want to keep... Uh, don't need to keep grabbing more just need to use up a couple of actually I think that was just one card no it's two but cut my 
my lace, glue it on. But it's neat how your art can just kind of like really do things. Like when you're just not expecting it, you can just kind of make something really, really wild kind of a thing. And I'm going to make this one a little bit down because of the shape of that. Oops, particular piece is... Not particularly geared for the corner, so it doesn't have to be an angle as much. But, anyways, so you do really neat, interesting stuff when you when you're using up your your stash kind of a thing. Anyway. That's perfect. Can you help us, Carly? Anyway, um, like the last batch of cards I made here, I used the same background that I used for my Icon ATCs. Um, and I don't think I have any more of those left, but I'll show you the one I'm starting to keep when I'm sending them off. I'm starting to keep my... Um, I make four cards and I keep one. So this is the one set that I sent off. And this background here with the um, napkin, I embossed and stuff like that. This is what all of this background here was. On here you can, if you look at it, you can see the embossing and stuff. And I have a video on how I made that. And I just added the, the uh, duct tape on that and the rust and whatnot red because that was what the requirements for that card. Um, but I decided that to use up the cards that I have. So I have a few more here that are waiting to be used that are not just cardboard backgrounds but are actual, I gotta cut these down a bit, actual um, meant for ATCs. So I'm going to use these up. Anyway. It makes it for an interesting project. And something that you would totally not even expect the look of people are just going to be blown away because they don't expect that when you think of lace and stuff there's so much things that you could think to do but it's like wow I wouldn't have thought of that kind of a thing what are you looking for Carly? A towel. get Auntie Cora to look for it there. A towel at the okay a so I'm going to put this cloth. down in the corner And these beads are fairly large, so Get bigger ones. the uh, ones here. That one, yeah, grab it. Um, yeah, grab it. Cool. Let's go. I'm going to try cutting this a little closer. And I think I have to add it just a little more closer to the edge. But anyway, and you know what? I always want to do pop dots on here bought a ton of them and I don't really use them but I got them for really cheap like 79 cents a pack so can't go wrong there yeah this bead is way too big for this particular one so it's going to be a little wonky That's my thing. So, anyway, now I'm just going to work on my next one. I'm not sure if I'm going to add more. I think I'm going to just ink the sides a bit, but we'll see how that goes after. I'm not worried about it right this second. 
um, just kind of doing this and that with this, trying to get it to similar. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. A series is not necessarily exactly the same. They're just um, kind of grouped together. And I like the way this kind of goes over the uh, little piece there like that. So I'm going to have that there. Have this one there. Have my beads there. Put my pop dots on. So yeah, I'm finding it pretty interesting to do this. Um, I've been very, very busy, so I'm like, ah, oh, God, do this. So I'm kind of crunching time, like, you know, getting between my projects of what I'm supposed to be doing for this weekend, this Saturday, which is today is Wednesday. So much to do. But one, if I don't craft in between my working craft, then it becomes more work and not fun, and then I get kind of uh, unhappy. So that's not cool. Um, so I kind of have to uh, do my own happy crafts in between. So if you find that you're doing stuff on schedule and it's really making you miserable, do a craft in between. Do something in between. Journal, an ATC card, um, um, something that you meant to do and you kind of put it off and you forgot about, like these. <laughs> um, because... It'll relax you for your next what you have to do, right? And kind of like, okay, breather. Do something different. It's like when you're doing um, schoolwork or whatever, you know, and you just can't, you, you can study and study and study, but then it gets to be too much. And you just, it's not even working and, and soaking in your brain's not one, is in it anymore. It's the same thing. You have to give your brain... Uh, break sort of a say on that particular project anyway so now I'm just gonna grab a couple pins so yeah it helps to take a break and craft so I do a lot of crafting in between my projects um, when I get myself committed to something when I'm like okay I have to make this project for somebody or you know that kind of thing um, because you like to make things for people or for challenges, and then sometimes you just get, whoa, you know? It happens to the best of us. Where we just feel, like, overwhelmed for that minute or for that couple of days. But if you do something different, it really does make you feel better. Really does make me feel better. So that's why I always crafting in between. Um, then I have to run and do my housework, kids stuff, you know. There's always that. <laughs> um, but, uh, and a lot of times, like I said before, I craft. I will go to bed sometimes really early, like 8.30 or something, and then... Um, get up at 11, 30, 12, and then craft, well, usually about 11, 30 or so, and then craft till one or two, and then go back to bed. I know it sounds really crazy, but if I go to sleep at 8, 8, 30 or something like that, I power nap for a few hours, I'm good to go. So, it works for me. So why not take advantage of that time? I could... I seriously, when I take a nap, if I do, it's like a 20 minute nap and I'm so refreshed. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, my husband takes a nap and he's like down for hours. It's like, how can you do that? I can't do that. I feel worse. But if I take a nap, it's usually when I'm like, whoa, it's been a long day. And like I'm done, down for 20 minutes and then I'm up and I feel like great. So... Yeah, I guess when I go to bed, like at 8, that's kind of like my little nap. <laughs> as crazy as it might seem. And then I'm up and I'm all good, ready to go. 
for a few hours anyways and I have quiet time because well by the time 11.30 comes around my husband comes and crawls to bed and he's snoring a few minutes later and then it's like it works like magic So here is the bird. I like it on the olive, actually, rather than the brown cardstock. It really sticks out nice, so I'm going to use the olive. And I may add the bird to it, because I kind of was thinking about that when I... Oops, come on, honey, get off. My nails are really black. Um, I was kind of thinking of that when I um, was looking through my stamps and I saw this thing. This stamp of the uh, best things in life are made, not bought. I'm like, ooh, that bird is so cute and pretty full. So, I want to use it. video without editing is about an hour long I've been sitting here so after this I'll have to go hang out with the kids and stuff but yeah that's really cute you know what I like about this is the galaxy when I stamp the whispering wipe it always seems to pull up the color that's underneath every time so I've got to be very careful in how I use it and I love that the galaxy color in the background is pulling it up like pulling through the white is pulling it through now I think I think I want the little bird to be torn I don't think I have a big enough stamp to stamp it out I think it would look nice torn anyway so I'm going to tear it And I should have torn it uh, the other way, maybe, but I'm tearing the outside of the bird towards me, and so which makes it more fluffy. Might not be too bad of a look. I'm not. I may not put it on. I'm just looking. So that I think it got about ten more minutes before this video is like an hour long. And usually I jump in here early, but I went and picked up Carly this morning early, so I've been doing that now for a while. So either I have to get up really super early. But I've been tired kind of lately, don't know why. So whatever. So I haven't been getting out of bed as early as I normally do. It's okay. So I don't know. This one's a little close, but it might just be an oddball of a thing. Or it might be just, I don't know, a piece that I need. I kind of didn't want it to be in the pink or purples of the bird, so that's why I did. The olive green looks kind of cool. I like it. I just don't know if I like that color, but I'll we'll play with it a little longer. Sometimes you just throw things on there and they're just you gotta try it. And it grows on you if you play around with it a little bit. But I really wanted the bird on there. So His feet a little. Uh, 
perfect. You know, I don't know what it is about it, but it is really cute. I just don't know if that's the right position for it. So, that's about it, guys. I'm probably going to use the birds um, and maybe find a position I like. But I just want to share this video with you guys and um, hope you guys enjoy it. And a little chat. <laughs> and I guess that's about it for now. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so I am done now. I did add the birds, as you can see. And I also added some alcohol sprays, inks that I made, the purple here. And what I used was I used candy wrappers to use as a mask on the pieces that I didn't want to. They're easy to shape, so they're wax background, so it's nice. So that's what I did on them to spray the lace in the background and the paper. I didn't want it all over the place. Here is the other one. So I think it looks really cute. And now I am done and I'm not going to... I also add a teeny bit of sparkle in there. You can see just a teeny bit to, for the galaxy to kind of pop a bit. Um, as you can see in that one, the really... Yeah, that's nice. So, and there's the spray. More purple. And yeah, so I'm done. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.